Every child should have music education. I think being part of a band or being part of a team is absolutely vital at this age. A festival like this is fantastic because it gives us very definite goals to drive the kids towards. It's a great opportunity to talk with them and hear them play and hear the results of their work. The New South Wales School Band Festival is one of the most significant music education programs not just in New South Wales but across Australia. It attracts students that are from primary school age right through to secondary. They get the chance to perform with their friends in the band, in front of mums and dads, but more importantly in front of industry professionals both here in Australia and from overseas. It's a benchmarking event, it's a non-competitive event it's a learning event. It's an event where children discover other children do exactly the same thing. The skills that they learn by playing in a band, you know, teamwork, uh, commitment, resilience, those things are life skills. And if you can play in a band and learn to play a certain piece really well to the best of your ability, well, you're learning a skill that can um, hold you all the way through life. The first day for a junior band is you either have, you know, kids opening up cases and not knowing what they're doing and the instrument goes everywhere, you have tears because they don't know what they're doing. Um, and then just getting to, to play any note. So, you know, our first rehearsal at the start of the year, you're going, oh, it's so hard. But, you know, week by week, two steps forward, one step back, it does get better. The experience is very fun and nerve-wracking. It can, it can sometimes give you a lot of nerves in your tummy but at the same time, you're feeling proud of yourself for getting this far. The experience of playing with my band, it's really cool. And at least it's not just percussion that we have. It's all of us that plays as a band, so it makes more music and it's really nice. Yeah, the first day when I got my instrument, it was really, I was very excited, you know. I finally had the instrument that I really wanted to, um, to pick up and start learning, which was really great. But it was a bit daunting at the same time, because. Uh, you really don't know where to start, you know, but I was, I had joined uh, the training band at my school and I was really looking forward to that and we got straight into it, you know, and I, I felt I picked it up rather quickly and then I just loved it from then on. I just think um, the people who organise this event need to be congratulated. It's grown over the last few years. It's a thorough success. It's a really good, healthy, fun and educative event. It's not generally understood by the public, but music plays a huge role in the education of children. It's so multi-dimensional, it stimulates so many facets of a child's brain. What music does for children, no other subject does. The music takes the child into the world of the abstract, the intangible, it works on the imagination, it allows the child to be creative, it teaches the child to think differently, and teaches a child to think creatively. If you're going to sponsor a festival like this, you've got to remember there's at least like probably 10,000 kids that come through and parents that come through, and so the exposure is brilliant. As a not-for-profit organisation, it's important for us to get sponsorship in order to run the various education programs that we offer. As you can appreciate, this venue is one of the best venues in Sydney. Where else do you get 10,000 odd children through as a promotional vehicle? So I think there's great opportunity here for anyone that wants to look outside the square a little bit, step in and take advantage of this. The festival runs for six days, but throughout the course of the year we run a number of 
professional development programs, we put clinicians into schools and we run education programs for musical directors. It's important that uh, organisations are involved with this festival so that we continue to develop future, not only future musicians but future thinkers, future people who are capable of a whole range of jobs from management to creative thinking to everything else and that will only happen if festivals like this are supported and continue. When an organisation sponsors children in music making, I refer to that sort of sponsorship as enlightened. 310 schools is a good reason uh, to be involved in, in this festival. It's, it's superbly run uh, and it's terrific exposure for any sponsor. When you sponsor music making, you're not sponsoring a one-off event, you're actually sponsoring a, a condition or a state of mind. You're saying, we're sponsoring music because we know this can have an impact on a child's life.